show. We have a special guest today, John Midas. When I was walking down the street, I found a shiny coin. I picked it up. There's a fat boy on one side and a jam on the other side. So when um, I usually go to Susan Buttercup's house, uh, which is the right turn, I made a left turn and I found an found an unusual street. It had um, a candy store, which and it was open on a Sunday. So I went in. I asked the candy store man if I can buy chocolate. He said yes. But I told him I didn't have any money. Then he said, what's in your right hand? He said, I showed him the coin. He said, that's the only money we allow. So I went um, to, I, I took the chocolate and I went home. Um, when I went to bed, I, um, I jumped out of bed. I opened it up. There's only one piece. I unwrapped it, ate it. And it was the most chocolatey chocolate I ever encountered. So when I woke up the next day, my toothpaste tasted like chocolate, my breakfast tasted like chocolate, and my gloves tasted like chocolate. And that's how I originally got the chocolate touch. Okay, very interesting. Now, does Susan Buttercup still like you? Well, after ruining her birthday by eating her, um, present which was a silver daughter and ruined her birthday party by getting chocolate syrup all over her. I'm pretty sure she's not going to be my friend for a while. I think we're going to get back in good grades again. Nice to hear. So, did you learn anything from having the chocolate touch? I learned that um, not everything's about me and not to be greedy. I mean, everything, some stuff are about ever people, and um, don't be greedy about everything. Mr. John, can I ask you another question? Sure. Um, how, what were you greedy about, exactly? Well, I love chocolate more than anything, really, so I wished I had chocolate, like, for the rest of my life, and I guess my wish came true. Do you know any other kids that had the chocolate touch? No, no, not really. Well, I saw the candy store man polishing a coin, and I think he was trying to change the initials. But you know what I noticed? What? He wasn't. He was only polishing the initials, not the fat boy. Oh, very interesting. So. Do you still like chocolate after all the experiences from the chocolate touch? Well, I still like chocolate, but I don't have it all day every day. I have it, like, every once in a while now. Ah, very interesting. So, now, like, what do you mean by every once in a while? Like, once a month, once a week? Well, I sort of have it, like, um, once a week, really. Oh. So, like, Very I'll have it, like, uh, on a Saturday, maybe even Friday or Sunday. I have one of those, then the next week. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. So, now, would you rather have the chocolate touch and your mother free of being chocolate or not have the chocolate touch and your mother still and your mother would be would be chocolate for the rest of her life to question not think about that well i think i will go with number one because i mean it's my mother and i love her ah very interesting okay so how much, so how much did you love her? How much exactly? So like, say this is my heart, this is the bottom, this is the top. It goes over the top. 
Do you get it? Yes. I get it very much. Very interesting. So, did Duck Cranium cure your chocolate touch disease? Um, well, actually, he really was. He was like, um, he said he'd never seen anything before. He was trying to come up with a good name. And he really wasn't really, like, paying attention. And, like, how, and, like, saying he got it. He figured it out when I, the way I did. So, and then he started getting, and then it was just all confusing. He's just like, oh, my God. It's just so confusing. So, well, how did you feel when your mother turned to chocolate? I felt terrible. I felt so bad. She was crying, and I felt like she needed a kiss, but when I kissed her, she turned to chocolate. So I went to the candy store. I told her, turn my mother back. He, I made a promise. If you turn my mother back and make, give the way to chocolate touch, I um will not be greedy for the rest of my life. Oh, interesting. So how did you get rid of the chocolate touch? Well, I got rid of the chocolate touch by asking her, asking the candy store man if just please um get rid of this and free my mother. Okay. Now, the final question. Mm -hmm. Do you still have the chocolate touch? Well, I'm not sure. No, why, not. Don't you, why don't you find out? Here's a coin. Um, sure, sure thing. Oh, man. Ooh, he still has it. He still has it. Very interesting. Okay, stay tuned for the next episode of The Max Show. Thank you for coming... Mr. John. I mean, Mr. Midas, sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Bye. Bye.